well, I'm just leaving the house. I just spent probably an hour, hour and a half cleaning out my car, and it looks, feels, and smells amazing. Okay, there was Max hair everywhere, uh, and I took Max for it was me and Chase. Me and Chase took Max and Bo for or to the puppy park, right? And even before then, it was already like kind of eh. It wasn't in the best of shape, but this really just put it over the edge. Because Max, whenever he's, he sheds already, and whenever he's nervous and he's in the car, he sheds a lot. So, with that being said, there was hair everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. And the puppy park, because uh, that's what we call it, the puppy park, you know? I, it's, I know it's the dog park, but that's just what we always have called it, is the puppy park. But anyway, the dog park, uh, bro, better stop. There he goes. All of a sudden, he's just whipping out of his, uh, his driveway. Like, hey, buddy. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was muddy. Super muddy. So they ran around, did their thing, and then they jumped back in the car. There was mud everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. But that's to be expected, you know. Whoa, I literally waved at this guy when I was getting in my car. He's been sitting here for a long ass time. Oh, apparently not. Can confirm this dude is a gigantic vagina. He's so slow, it's actually killing me. Has he ever even driven stick shift before? I'm starting to question. Question. Question it. Hmm. Who would have thought, right? Aw, oh, bro, you going in there? Please go in there. Get, get out me way, lad. But I... And then afterwards, ended up printing out Kathy's stuff. Took about literally 20 minutes. Not an exaggeration. That's okay. Um, that's just how, how the printer is that we have. It's not crazy. It's not, it's, not, it's not very fast at all, to be honest with you. It's a brother. The brother printers kind of suck. Well, I guess... Okay, but it does what it needs to do, but it's just really slow. That's probably fair to say. Uh, but I think we almost need, we're probably going to need some more ink for it because Kathy had to print like 30 pages out one night and it took like an hour, hour and a half. No joke. It took literally almost an hour and a half. Um, we ended up, she ended up doing more of her work. I ended up playing my game. Then we went to CVS, all this stuff uh, before all 30 pages were printed out. It ended up being... 31 because one of the pages ended up being messed up because we had ran out of paper and I pulled the I pulled I ended up pulling out the the uh, paper tray while I was doing it and then just spit the paper out real quick and I was like okay whatever <sighs> I feel so relaxed in here because there's not dog hair thrown being thrown everywhere oh this is so nice I got some chili on the floor over here about the I've got two bowls worth so if Kathy wants some she can but I don't think it's, it's as flavor blasting as she likes it to be that's okay then I'll have some for later so when I get there I'll eat me some chili with with peanut butter sandwich maybe it's a sandwich but I'll do that and then from there eh, I don't know just have to wait and see my hair's my hair's pretty crazy today didn't do anything with it just literally threw some water in it and threw it straight up in the air. Didn't feel like doing anything with it, you know? Sometimes, some days you're feeling it, some days you're not. I just wanted to get out the door, to be honest with you. And even when I was doing the car and stuff like that, my hair wasn't fixed. It was just sticking up everywhere. It's all good. So I go to this place called 18.8. Well, it's called Refine Men's Salon now. I think they broke off from 18.8. Wonder how much that cost. Probably a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna say a lot. One thing that they didn't tell me was what the heck is that? I heard like a piece of metal sliding in my car. One thing they didn't tell me or the customers was that the website changed. So for those like me, which I should have guessed, you know. Hello? Oh! -ho! It's my little coaster thing. Look, it's like a... Look how chilling that is. I mean, personally, I wouldn't be staring at the sun, you know, but... Okay, that's gonna blind you. Blind your ass, but, you know, you got options. 
You got options. Maybe my, I could have spent my time a little better today. Maybe? Probably not. Oh, so I went to sleep last night at like 12, 20, 12, 30, give or take. Um, doing some more lessons. It was probably around 12, 30. When I went to bed. And then when I uh, woke up this morning, it was like 8 o'clock, literally 8 o'clock on the dot. Right? Max was standing up. He was stretching. He's wanting me to take him out to go potty. I took him out to go potty. Uh, then, is my brights on? Whoops. My brights are on. Um, then, crap. Oh, yeah. I went back in my room, went back to sleep, woke up at 11.30. Slept like a freaking baby. exactly what I needed. Every once in a while you just need a good refresher, right? That's exactly, that, that's what I felt like happened was I just got this big ah, like a deep breath, you know? Sometimes when you sleep that much you feel like crap, but I was feeling good after that. Especially since the day before I only got like six hours of sleep again, or seven. Six or seven hours of sleep. Oh, that reminds me. I downloaded this video. Um, and the guy, this guy, sleeps for four hours a night for so ever many, however many days <sighs> it's like an experiment you know for however many days and he does like a facial transition of how of how often he sleeps and the effects on his mind and stuff like that and I'm gonna probably watch that when I get to Kathy's too it looks super interesting so that's probably what I'll end up doing I brought my Switch, like usual, so I may play a little bit on my Switch. 